The statue of Harriet Tubman called the Beacon of Hope travels the country to inspire people who visit it. And its latest stop is at the John Brown Historic Site in Lake Placid, as Alec Lasham shows us. Just that one statue really uh, gave me a lot of sort of educational experience and also emotional experience. Bill Ferns is among the many visitors to the John Brown Farm State Historic Site, witnessing the Beacon of Hope Harriet Tubman statue for the first time. Brown was an abolitionist who historians say shared a vision of a country free of slavery, just as Tubman. They fought for um, the end of slavery in the United States and also they both aided um, uh, fugitive enslaved persons escaping uh, through the Underground Railroad, through this area into Canada. Brown and Tubman were good friends, and at one point had tried to convince Tubman to join him at the raid of Harper's Ferry. Brown called her his general, uh, and uh, he had hoped that she would participate in the raid. And there's some question as to whether he jumped the gun and uh, went ahead with the raid a couple weeks earlier than he was supposed to, or that Harriet Tubman was ill and couldn't travel. Brendan Mills is the site manager at the John Brown Farm and says after Brown's execution due to the Harper's Ferry raid, Tubman continued to fight. Harriet Tubman uh, would go on to, to keep the fight going, the fight against slavery, and she would, of course, be a scout for the Union Army during the Civil War. And today her statue highlights that pivotal point in American history. One that Gerald Lee Zempel, what John Brown lives, says continues to be uncovered. It is a very important history uh, here that uh, has in many ways not been told or has been forgotten. And I think history is an unending story of, of our understanding of the past. And the more that we know about what happened, uh, the more we understand the past and our future through the past. The Beacon of Hope statue will be on display at the John Brown Farm until October. Reporting in Lake Placid, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.